guys, it's Vic, and this is the March 2021 Q&A. Existing to prove questions like this one wrong. <laughs> I'll be answering questions from the January 2021 Q&A, and now that I've given a little bit of time, we can actually have these Q&As start in the middle of the month, instead of having them come out, like, at the very end of the month. Meaning that I should never be wrong about the month again. Let's go! If you want to leave a question for next month's Q&A, all you gotta do is write one in the comments below. Let's go to the first question. Kate asks, what weapon will you be looking for in Splatoon 3? Well, besides the really cool bow that we're definitely getting, which looks really nice, I'm kind of interested in seeing if they have any more like mobility related weapons in the game. I've definitely seen concept art before for like a skateboard, which could in a way be like, a roller dually if you do it right and I, I think that I think that'd be really cool but otherwise I'm just super excited for the idea of having new sub and special combinations on the weapons that we really love like the sloshing machine I'm curious what they'll do to certain weapons that don't really do stuff without a bomb and if they give it a bomb what will happen like I want to know what happens if they give the explosher a bomb so that it wouldn't just be, you know, you throwing literal burst bombs. It'd be like, <laughs> imagine a imagine a burst bomb explosher. That'd be gross. They'll never do it, but it'd be gross. Red Demon says, do you think the splat bow will be the starter weapon for multiplayer? Honestly, no. I think that the game will still start with just the good old splatter shot junior, and then they'll just kind of shove it at us like early on in the game. Kind of like how in Splatoon 2 we were able to access the dualies super early. Sadly, I think we're gonna have to wait a little, a little bit of time before we get that sweet, sweet splat bow. Cove asks question, what was the hardest mode to reach X rank in and why? Well, when X rank came out, I automatically got put into splat zones and tower because I had way over the S plus level needed for it. Because in the olden days, you actually needed to get to at least S plus 10, just like now. But you could go above S plus 10 before X rank came out. It went all the way up to S plus 50. I, I never got to 50. That would have been cool, but I just, I just didn't have the time. I got to like S plus like 17 or 18 or so. And I think I was at like S plus 8 or something for Rainmaker. So I still had to like crawl my way up there. So probably Rainmaker because it was a very sudden like shift in like the people that were still in S plus. And I was a little bit surprised by how differently people were playing. So probably Rainmaker. Vimo says, question, which of your cats is a dog? I will let this video show you for yourself. It's Tippy. Wow, hello Pebble. Hello Tippy too, cause you're dying to be in this shot, aren't you? You're dying to be in the shot. You're dying, you're dying to be in the shot. You, wanna, you gotta be in everything, don't you? You gotta be in everything, don't you? Hi, 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 <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Waffles asks, question, where is your favorite place to go for a vacation? I feel like whenever we go for vacations, it's always like with like a second purpose. Like whenever I've gone to Florida, besides like one time, it's always like, oh, a family member is getting married. Plus we're going to Disney. Or like I went to California one time and it was like, oh, a family member is getting married. Plus, we're going to Disney. See, you see a pattern here on our couple of vacations that we've had? <laughs> One time when I was young, we went to Michigan to hang out with family. What? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of them have been family oriented. Uh, the one time that I didn't have to go for any particular reason was uh, when I went to California again recently for Genesis 7, even though it's been over a year since then, and that's that's wild. That's wild. I don't, I don't really like that. I, I would like to go like just anywhere, probably California again, because they're so nice, and just explore. Like, not be tied to anything, and just be able to look around. If I could go out of the country, I think that I would like someday to go to Chile, just because it's so beautiful down there, and I want to just be able to look around, man. I just want to see stuff. Seago Friend says, question, do you have any expectations for Nintendo this year? Well, given that we got Splatoon 3, probably after you ask this question, <laughs> Uh oh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied, my friend. I would say when E3 comes around, I don't expect Nintendo to drop too much in the name of more new games. I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna flesh out the games that they popped out at the most recent direct, and then maybe give us like one more new game at the end just to keep people riled up. 
just because Nintendo didn't really talk too much about games that are like coming out in the later part of the year. They talked about stuff that was coming out soon, plus stuff that's coming out in the way future, like Splatoon 3. I'm not exactly sure why they even announced Splatoon 3 now, but I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Delta says, question, what the heck is your least favorite special? It's actually Burst Bomb Launcher. And, and it's not because it's bad. It's just because the weapons that they put the Burst Bomb Launcher on are weapons that would perform so well if they had an actual Burst Bomb. So they want to make sure that you only get that Burst Bomb glory in little teeny tiny bursts, literally, so you don't have to, like, get the chance to burst cancel. Which is so mean. Just, just, just let me do my burst cancels. Just let me, let, me, let me kill things with a Burst Bomb and a Slosher. Come on. Come on, please. Please, Nintendo. Shy Boy says, true or false? Waffles are just really buff pancakes. I'm gonna say false, just because waffles have holes in them and pancakes don't. So those poor pancakes, man, if you're turning them into waffles, you're like taking away so much of the pancake. Bunny Derp says, question, can I have your cats? I've come for your attention, Tippy. Do you know why? Do you know it's because I am love you? Hade says, here's my question. Do you have any advice for the people who can't get into motion controls, but really want to, like me? All right, what you gotta do first is take your controller, lay it flat. I'm assuming you have motion controls on at this point, but if, if you don't, turn those on. <laughs> and what you're gonna do is you're gonna try and play a game, but you're gonna play it in a hybrid way. You're gonna hold that controller and you're gonna use the motion to look up and down, but you're only gonna do up and down. You're going to look left and right still with your sticks. That way, you can get used to one direction at a time. You can get used to up and down, and then when you feel ready, you can add in left and right. The reason that you start with up and down is because your sticks can only control left and right when you're playing in motion controls. That way, you don't lose the comfort of using the sticks all the way right away. And even after you go to motion completely, you have to remember that you'll still use your sticks sometimes. The sticks are used for very large, quick movements, more or less, while the motion controls are more for finite stuff. Or you can even combine both the motion with those stick movements to move like the camera really fast when you have to. It's very useful. Good luck. <laughs> Julian asks, how does it feel to not have enough room to friend all your viewers? <laughs> Pain. Nintendo, please, please just give us like a little more space, like, like 500 slots, it'd be so good. Meta says, <laughs> question, how did you feel when Mushroom won Splatfest 2-1? Pain. <laughs> Christian says, question time. What's your favorite sea creature and which species deserves more or any representation in the Splatooniverse? I'll be honest with you, I always thought that horseshoe crabs were super duper cool. So the fact that they're in the video game is kind of a huge W to me. And Sheldon's right there. Let's go. I would love to see if Sheldon has like family eventually in the video game, because they could like expand that. But for a more playable style character of sorts, I, I really want them to do more with jellyfish. Can they, can they please? Can they please? They're right there. They, 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 they've been in the video game since the very start of the video game. Just give them a chance. Give them a chance. I really hope Nintendo does something with them instead of just having them as random walking around NPCs in this game like all the rest. This one's a very normal question, so I was like, I'll, I'll answer this one quickly. Inkling Fighter just wants to know how many level resets I've done. I've done two. Hopefully a third one before Splatoon 3 comes out. M maybe even another one if I play more ranked. I don't know, man. <laughs> Vladdy says, do I have a favorite Valentine's Day candy? Not, not really, but I just like buying the candy for cheap when Valentine's Day is over. In fact, uh, I'm pretty sure that I have more Valentine's candy still in the drawer. I'll take a picture of it and put it right here. Blackout says, Q&A question. Four reasons why tower control should be in rotation. Go. Uh, no, number one, Stingray go burr. Number two, Stingray go burr. Number three, Sting Noodles says, why to heck are you not a voice actor? Uh, I just am not. I, I've never really like considered getting into voice acting as like an actual job, just because I do have an actual job, plus the YouTube stuff. But I love to record stuff for people when they want it, and I love to sing. So I'll probably keep doing at least those things. I think people who have been in the Splatoon community for a while will sometimes recognize my voice from when I did stuff for, uh, for Vian, when I voiced Marina. But besides that, I don't really have my voice in too many places, besides in a few of my friends' videos here and there. 
Flowey says, question, do you have any long-term goals that you still want to complete in Splatoon 2? I'm not very satisfied with my highest X rank power because I've never really tried hard during a particular rotation ever. <laughs> and I would like to get to like 26 or 2700 just, just, just to say that I got it before Splatoon 2 ends. Or not really ends, but you know, before a lot of people move on to Splatoon 3 and like the rank modes aren't really the same as they are right now. X-Boy asks, why the heck is little buddy so cute in Splatoon 3? Merchandise. They're gonna turn him into a marketable plushie. You will, you'll see. You'll see, he's gonna be, he's gonna be all over the place. You think that Nintendo is satisfied with those super cute squid pillows? Uh-uh-uh. Just wait until we get the little buddy plushies. Then it's over. Paulina says, question. Have you ever played in a tournament and or have you ever won one? While I have not ever won a tournament, I have played in many a tournament as I played competitively for about three and a half years before taking a little bit of a break like I am right now. I've gotten into top cut in a couple of tournaments and I've definitely won a number of matches, but I've never came in first place. Davis asks, can you ask Sheldon if we'll ever get a heavy splatling with a bomb? Okay, 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 I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right, so he laughed me out the door before I even finished the question. So <laughs> I don't think we're going to get any headway on that one, my friend. Aki questions, what aspect of your day does it make tell you if it's going to be a good or a bad day? Well, I can tell you that a day can start really good or really bad depending on how bright it is outside when I wake up. <laughs> Just because if it's a little too bright outside, I know that I've slept for too long and I'm like, oh no, oh no, no, am I, am I, am I, am I late for work? about to be late for work. I'm actually not late to work very often. It's just that the sun is getting brighter out now because we're getting closer to the summer and my brain just like refuses to accept that information. So it keeps telling me that I'm late every single time that I wake up and it's terrible. <laughs> it's really terrible. And then like by the time I leave, I'm like, oh yeah, everything's fine. But like I start every day sometimes or at least some days being like, oh no, I'm, de I'm, I'm definitely late. And then I look at the time and it's just like, oh. Nice little adrenaline boost to get out of bed, at least. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Michael asks, what is your best or second best story you have to tell from your experience on being on a Splatoon tournament staff? Instead of telling you a story from when I was on staff, I'm going to tell you a story from before when I was on staff. <laughs> so long ago in like 2018, one of the tournaments that I went to, I believe it was Beacon, we needed to have posters for the event. And because I lived locally, and I worked out of Staples at the time. I was like, oh yeah, I can, I can, I can help. I can, I can help print those posters. And I did. I printed the posters at work for like a reduced price because I just could do them whenever I wanted to while I was at work, which was nice. And I remember that when I brought the posters in for the event, I had to like hide the Staples box and not like show anybody what was inside. And I felt like I was like carrying contraband <laughs> into the tournament. <laughs> I was like, yes, I got, I got, I got the goods. I got the secrets. I got what we need. But it really, it's just like, it was just like a bunch of posters. <laughs> Oofy asks, question: Do you exist? I, I, I sure hope so. Le Penguin says, okay, Vic. What to heck would you change about the toxic mist? Just, just let it do damage. That's it. Just let it do damage. That would, that would fix the problem like so fast. Just let it do. Let, just let it hurt things. Just even a little bit. If it damaged people, it would put people in range to like probably get bopped by other weapons and it would make it so much more useful. Remix says, could you try and make some videos based around the current Splatoon meta? I would like to. Uh, clap back soon. I would like to bring those back. Maybe like an addendum to the dictionary of some sort. You'll see. Squeak says, Q&A question. Do you prefer ham or turkey? Okay, okay, so hear me out on this one. I actually have different preferences based on what it is. So if it's like the warm food, I actually prefer ham. Like especially like a nice sliced ham around Thanksgiving. Ooh, ooh, perfect. But if it's cold cuts, like you know the ones you get from the deli, I actually prefer turkey. Cause turkey has a really good consistency as a cold cut as opposed to ham. So yeah, the answer is kind of both, but not really. Hambro says Q&A, if you could choose any one of your cats to talk to you, which one would it be? It'd be Ziggy, because Ziggy just really likes to get attention, but he never tells you what he needs. 
He just will like rub his face on like everything. Just, just everything that exists. He wants to rub himself all over the place. And like neither of my other cats do this. Like they get their attention and they're satisfied. But Ziggy has just like this, this, this hunger. Just always be around to get like pets. He'll like hop on the top of the chair. Like in the picture that I'm showing you right now. And I just, I just don't get it. I want, I want to talk to my boy. KFC says, have you ever considered streaming games outside of the ones you already do? Yes. Yes, I, I would. I want to keep expanding and trying out other games. I know uh, Monster Hunter is coming out soon. I would love to stream some Monster Hunter for fun. Um, I want to get Pokemon Snap when it comes out. I'm kind of on the edge of getting Skyward Sword because it's like Breath of the Wild, but not as like, you know, huge. So I don't know, probably stream at least those things. Nate Clone says, hey Vic, here's a hypothetical for you. The announcement of Splatoon 3 and its release date has been replaced with Mario Kart 9. And now Splatoon 3 is now being released in late 2023. How do you feel about this? Pain. <laughs> Just kidding. Honestly, I didn't even expect Splatoon 3 to be coming out like next year. And it's kind of still a surprise that like they're giving it to us at this time. I mean, like, I guess it makes sense because people didn't have to wait too long between Splatoon 1 existing and Splatoon 2 existing. And maybe people just got like impatient. And maybe Nintendo is just like, hey, we gotta keep up the pet the we gotta keep up the fast pace for our, you know, cool new IP. Go, 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 go. But like, if it does get delayed to 2023, I, I, I can wait. And you know that people would just throw out YouTube videos being like, Splatoon is delayed, not clickbait. Which would be kind of funny. <laughs> but you know it isn't delayed anymore, at least. <laughs> this is this video. It's, it's out right now. And you just watched all of it. Wow. Thank you for listening to the March 2021 Q&A. Which I will put a, a tag that says just A. Because I was asked very nicely by Crystal to do that. Instead of my usual hashtag Q. It'll be back. It, it'll, it'll be back. I'll put out another one of these sometime around the middle of next month. Yeah. And if you want to be a part of it. All you gotta do is leave a comment in the questions below. I mean... A question in the comment below. I'm not even taking out that take. That's staying in. I'm gonna go now. Hope you have a nice day. Thank you for watching my Q&A. Whee!